This moment is what tens of thousands of Yemenis have been wanting for years. A chance to end the street-to-street -street fighting, aerial bombardments, diseases, lack of clean water and food insecurity. Rebels turning over control of the port of Hodeida to the government. We're delighted today because of this decision, and we want these kinds of decisions. The decision came late, but God willing, the ceasefire will hold and the situation will stabilize. God willing, the ceasefire in Hudaida continues. People need security and safety in this country. Houthi rebels boarded their trucks to move out of the port. Standing by, naval and coast guard officers from the Saudi Emirati-backed government. The internationally recognized government forces had been in charge of protecting ports before the war. They were also blamed during the conflict for blocking humanitarian supplies that are desperately needed throughout the country. The handover was part of a UN-sponsored peace agreement signed in Sweden earlier this month. Overseeing the handover, the head of UN's advance team charged with monitoring the ceasefire, retired Dutch General Patrick Kamert. We cannot solve your problem. You have to do that yourself. And that means that we will sit, we will discuss, we will take the obstacles, but we have to move forward. What comes next is pro-government forces pulling back from parts of Hodeida city they recaptured in an offensive launched in June. Hodeida's Houthi governor, Mohammed Ayash Kahim, says his forces taking control of the city in exchange for handing over the port is part of the UN agreement. The fighters who used to protect the port will be redeployed to protect the city, according to the Sweden agreement. The UN also announced the warring sides will begin to open critically needed humanitarian corridors within the areas they controlled. The Sweden agreement mandates the warring sides allow relief supplies to reach those in need. For those who have lost loved ones, been traumatized by three years of brutal violence, this handover is a sign they may soon have what all humans need, food, shelter and safety. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.